Hey folks, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another Wednesday uh, waffling. Um, I'm going to try and make this short and sweet. I am off to Atlanta uh, in a couple of days' time, so I'm really quite excited about that. And um, it should be a quite a good show, really. I've never been before, but I'm hoping and I've been told that it's a pretty awesome event. So, uh, again, don't forget, if you are out that way, um, or if you can make it along for you know one of the days, Saturday or the Sunday, um, then I'll be uh, I'll be there. I'm taking my little boy with me as well, Charlie. Uh, he's decided he wants to come with me, so uh, we are jetting off on Friday morning sometime. We arrive somewhere Friday night. It should be quite exciting. Um, I get a few questions asked um, about my pressure pot, so I'm going to show you that now. I thought it might be a little bit interesting for some of you. So, uh, so this is my uh, pressure pot. Um, I've had this now for a good few months, and um, I definitely think it's uh, well worth uh, investing in in something like this if you're doing or want to do resin uh, projects. Um, this is only a small one. Um, there's the this is the make, I suppose that's the make there. So it's not massive, but you can get bigger ones. And this is actually for resin casting, this pot. So it's actually designed for that. Well, the website suggests that when I purchased it. So, um, and this bit comes out of here if you want it to come out, this lifts out. Um, I put a bit of wax paper in the bottom. Because what happens is, is if the resin sometimes is too much resin in there, it overflows. It then would stick to the base of this, and I don't want that to happen. So I've got a bit of wax paper in the bottom. That doesn't, and that doesn't happen. Then really, I just take the wax paper out. So um, yeah, it's it's a pretty good pot. You just um, put it down, and you lock it down with these four um, kind of big, whatever they're called, Mickey Mouse ears. Um, and um, you uh, screw them down. So you've got one, two, three, four. Um, and then once you've sealed it down, then uh, what I use is I use my uh, compressor, which I've got here, which is uh, it's an SGS air compressor. Um, this is pretty good, pretty neat bit of kit. And uh, what I've got is I've got two outlets. I upgraded this a little while ago. I did have a smaller one. This is a bigger compressor. So I've got one here now which is attached to this, which I can use uh, to sort of blow, you know, dust and mess and stuff. Then I've got another one hose attached here with just this on the end. And that just clips, clips in there, and then I just pump the air in by using this. And then what I do is I go up to around about 40, PSI about 40 45 PSI and that's about right and then I leave the piece to set overnight so um, you can then release the air via this red button here or you can release it by unscrewing this little nozzle here and that releases the air out as well um, so it's a pretty neat bit of kit uh, there's a bit more info down here on it but what I will do um, take that off. Another. Ooh, that's quite nice. Yeah. Um, but what I'll do is I'll put a link down in the description below for where I purchased this. It is from the UK, um, but um, I'm sure if you've maybe found the make from the website, you might be able to Google uh, a similar product if you're in the US. You can get bigger ones. I was going to invest in a slightly larger one. You can get like tall ones and wider ones. Um, but it's, I do fairly small projects, so that's pretty pretty good enough for me. But it's an awesome bit of kit. Um, I really do enjoy using it, and I use it quite a lot now. And it really does get all the bubbles out, and that is what it's for. Um, it is to get the bubbles out of the resin. Um, and I get questions asked me, like, do you need a pressure pot? Well, you don't really need one, but if you don't want bubbles, <laughs> no one likes bubbles. Dad, you like bubbles, don't you, Dad? Yeah. Then you um, you should get it. You need a pressure pot really to get the bubbles out of the resin. So yeah, it's it's advisable to get a pressure pot um, if you're you know doing some casting uh, some some resin projects. 
Uh, what else have I got to say? Um, hmm. Uh, the lathe giveaway, two lathe giveaways actually, are coming up very soon. I apologise for the delay uh, on that. I've basically, I've ordered them and uh, I'm just waiting for them to be delivered. I don't want to do the giveaway until I get the lathe here and I want to do a little review on it. So I hope you're all still enjoying watching the channel and I appreciate all your uh, comments and likes and... Uh, shares and everything else uh, and I appreciate all of you on the channel really quite overwhelming the channel has grown really well and and continues to grow um, but I think more importantly um, what I would what, what I do like is I like to hear about a lot of of you uh, that are uh, encouraged to um, start up wood turning and that is what I'd like to try to do I'd like to try to encourage and help others to get into this um, hobby because it's fantastic. I mean, um, it's, it's a great hobby and it gets people away from using iPads and iPhones and games and computers and stuff, you know, and, and gets you out of the house into a shed, <laughs> but, you know, really starting to create things and using your hands and, you know, and, and, and I love that. I love that about this hobby. So if I can help you uh, in any way uh, and encourage you uh, to start up this hobby, then uh, I'm really chuffed with that because uh, it is a great hobby to do and um, if you've got any questions for me I will try to reply to as many as I can um, about how to start up and what to do what to get and things like that and again I'm not nowhere near an expert but I've done it by talking to others um, listening to others watching YouTube um, and um, you know various help from from other wood turners and friends and things like that really so um, so I hope that in some way I can help you and encourage you to get into this hobby because it's fantastic, it really is good. It's a great stress reliever. Um, so if you're suffering from any stress or anxiety and stuff like that, um, then uh, it's, it's really great, you know, for that. It's really enjoyable. So uh, I hope I can get some of you uh, into this. And if not, then I hope you enjoy watching me uh, make things... Um, pencil stuff and all sorts of different bits and pieces really that I'm sort of like hopefully uh, are interesting hopefully <laughs> I've also had quite a lot of questions about what equipment to use now um, as you know uh, pretty much most of my equipment is record power uh, so I would uh, recommend that brand you can get some uh, really great lathes and band saws and all sorts. They've got everything for woodwork and everything for wood turning. So uh, check out the link below for Record Power um, and uh, you can order the stuff there and they send it out direct to you. They also do ship to the States as well. So uh, they ship around the world. Uh, I know also a lot of you ask about the resin that I use as well and there is a link below for where to get the resin from. Uh, I know there's loads of people that sell resin, but again, I have gone through quite a lot of that uh, resin before I actually found this product, um, and it's really great stuff. So uh, the uh, the guys, I've spoken to the guys at the resin place, and they are going to be shipping out to the states uh, and right around the world now as well, um, and uh, they are they've also calculated it so it's a bit more cost effective for you to purchase from them and get it shipped out to them. So I know uh, a couple of you guys have, have mentioned that you did try to order, um, but the shipping cost was quite expensive. Uh, and it can get quite expensive to, to ship across, across the world. Um, but um, I've spoken to them, and if you have a look on their website, shipping to the rest of the world should be a bit more cost effective. So hopefully that works for you. Uh, if you're in the UK, um, then you know the link's below. It doesn't cost a lot to ship to the UK, obviously. Um, it's really great stuff. You know, I definitely would recommend it. So, uh, and, and everyone asks me about it all the time. So, and I do try and send you the links for it. But they're always in the description, guys. So check out the description of every one of my videos. There is a lot of links in there for lots of different things. For a lot of the things that I use, the tools and equipment and resin and emblems and my website, my vlogging channel and everything. Everything's on there. So check out the description if you uh, if you get stuck. Uh, if it's not in there for any unknown reason, ping me an email or a message uh, and I'll see if I can get back to you as soon as I can. That's it really. Uh, I've got a video going up this Friday um, and then we're off uh, to Atlanta. I will try and maybe probably do a bit of a vlog on Atlanta. Um, and maybe put that up on the channel if uh, if you're interested in that 
uh, I might put that up because it's a woodworking sort of wood turning sort of show then I think it might go quite well and put it up on the channel hope you don't mind about that um, but um, so I will do a bit of a video there and um, that's it really yeah so I don't get back till late Monday so I will try and get a video up on the following Wednesday and also I've got to try and get a project in as well so if you don't see a Wednesday or a Friday project then you know that I've been a bit snowed under but I'll try to obviously I will try to but normally what I would do is I would do a project video over the weekend for the following Friday um, but I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm away so that might disrupt my Friday viewing so if you don't see anything go up next Friday not this Friday next Friday then you know why <laughs> but I will try I will try um, but thanks very much for joining me. I hope you are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope I didn't waffle on too much. But they're not supposed to waffle on, right? Um, and um, I hope you're still enjoying the channel. And again, thanks very much for all my new subscribers, old ones always as well. Thanks very much for commenting and, and sticking with me. Uh, and I shall see you on Friday. Take care. See you soon.